Hey, what is good at you? My name is Gio Diaz signing in and welcome to my channel. So as you guys can see, the background is different. I'm in my sneaker collection right now, or sneaker setup right here. Um, hold up, someone. Yeah, um, so today I'll be doing, uh, I'll be showing my sneaker collection 2020. Uh, last time I did it was like two years ago. It was like my entire sneaker collection in 2018. And that was like a long time ago. Yeah, uh, that was a long time ago, two years ago. So a lot of changes, a lot of things has gone, a lot of things came in, new things, everybody. So, um, so today I'll be showing you guys once again my sneaker collection, what's gone and what's new. I know this video is probably gonna be a little bit longer, but I'm gonna try my best to make it shorter as much as possible. It's just pretty much just all around, and I don't have my sister here right now to help me out to you know follow me around to film so I just have my tripod and, and a setup right here I'm just gonna go ahead it's not gonna be in order because you know it's like pretty much all around right now I have I still have a lot of vans first one will be uh, I'm just gonna do the only design is left I have right now is uh, this you haven't you if you've been watching my videos recently this Balenciaga straight trainers right here with one of my favorite sneakers I own. This I just got it like I think last year, but um, twenty eighteen back in twenty eighteen I don't have these, and I think I don't think I have any designer brands sneakers at the time. So this is like a big big thing for me, and I got it finally. Super super nice. I like it a lot. Um, super comfortable. I already made a video about this so many times. Um, this is probably one of the most expensive I own. I think it costs like around twelve hundred around there. Um, Canadian dollars so um, this is the Valencia GSP trainers the OG colorway because um, I wear this all the time I clean it recently and um, next one will be my triple S Balenciaga as you could if you don't know Balenciagas are actually one of my um, favorite um, designer brands so also if you, uh, I'm not sure if you can notice I have like red eye on my left I guess it's like kind of swollen I don't know it was itchy lately so I was like scratching it and now I completely regret it because I'm in front of camera but yeah um so we got triple S Balenciaga second favorite as well um I bought it used as you can see as you can see I tried to wear, wear them all the time but you know it's, it's super nice it's kind of like a workout walking around so super super nice right here but it's kind of like it's ripped there so that's the Balenciaga right here I put it on one side so I got the Rob Siemens I kind of like regret owning this. I mean, they're nice. I'm probably gonna sell this, everybody. If anybody interested, um, let me know. If you've been watching this video, it's still probably available. So let me know. I'm gonna sell this for a really good price. I wore this like probably like four times. I completely regret it because I actually um, sold, uh, trade my Pharrell Williams Human Race NMD for this. I completely regret it. That one was like super comfortable. I regret um, trading, but you know, this was actually super nice for those um, classy people there. I'm not sure if it's still on, but super nice. It still has still has um, two brand new socks comes with it because it comes with a package. So wrap Simmons, I'm just gonna put it here. But yeah, um, I apologize. Uh, uh, but yeah, I apologize for the um, space. I have a really small space here, but you know, I still gotta be grateful as always. But yeah, I'm gonna move on right away. Go. I'm just gonna quickly get like I'm not gonna be specifically in order. I'll try not. I'll try to be one. I'm just gonna grab. I'm just gonna quickly grabbing the um what shoes I see. You know, because I can't really like follow around. I'm probably gonna do it later. But right now, I'm just gonna show you whatever I pick it's not gonna be in order I'm gonna once again I'm gonna try my best but you know second we get the um, Air Force ones right here you can see probably one of my one of my very first instead of, like actually this is one of my favorite Air Force ones just because you know it's UNC plus it's my favorite color if you don't know I actually own this one as well but before I actually own a 9.5 Air Force ones but this is 9 and I actually trade those for a Roshi which I completely regret about so I got a size 9 here I got, I got, I got a full plug you know I get it like 50% off so super nice I got this kind of like beat this is my two Air Force ones Basically one of my essentials, especially for this summer. I always wear them out of all of these shoes. I wear this more than my Jordan ones, honestly. All right, so we got some Vans here. We got the, um, this, <laughs> probably like wore this like probably below 10 times. It's really, really good condition. Like this is the um, Blue Estate, I think, yeah. Blue Estate, old school Vans right here. Really nice suede leather. 
oh not layer just near, um, really nice weight super good condition as you can see you can tell with you can tell by the laces how good the condition is so yeah birdie wear this probably gonna sell this to a giveaway because I have a lot that I don't wear and I only wear like the black old school um, you already saw this in my um, old old video as well if you if you don't know so this is limited well this is actually a Vance family Vance when I used to work at Vance before it's just for a Vance employee but yeah it has um it says Vance family here so it's just basically friends and family shoes right here I barely wear it as you can see it's like super super good condition this is the navy Vance and family uh friends and family um, authentic vents right here I actually have an old school slip ones this is the pro ones this is mostly for skating the only reason why I bought this is like you know it has the uh, ultra cush makes you feel super comfortable inside like walking wise one of the oldest sneakers I have is the Special for or special forces ones, I think. Yeah, the super high top ones right here. Super nice. This is a suede velvet brown thing. That was the color. It's, not, it's actually not velvet. My bad. It's just a suede brown. Um, I bought it from someone way back. I wore this as my winter shoes, basically. Super super sick. Or even I'm thinking of selling this dude. This is size nine. Let me know if you're interested. This is actually super nice, honestly. I just don't wear them that much, just because it's high top. So you know what? I'm just gonna quickly go grab the vans. All the vans are like later on. We're gonna start with ones, you know, your ones. Actually, well, I'll start with the because it's the first thing I got. Um, I have a backup pair right here. I'm gonna show you. So this is the backup pair right here. Actually, before I left vans, because I know I'm gonna be needing one someday. So I bought an extra pair. And I'm also gonna be I'm also gonna be showing you my super beat up one. So, um, I always wear it, even though it's like ready to rip. I still wear it. But this is my backup pair, as you can see, it's brand new. Right here, the beat up ones. This is my. Beaters, as, it, as you can see, this is the super beat up, but like, probably one of my most comfortable super go-to shoes. Like if, when I don't care, I can just go anywhere with this. As you can see, there's like rips already, and there is and like super kind of like dirty, but you know, keep it like lace look. It still, still goes crazy. This one, still uh, white checkerboard um, slip on vans right here. This is not the normal ones. This is actually a pure white. As you can see, it has a bigger um checkerboards super nice super sick you know, i already sold a lot of stuff and gave away some stuff as well so we got i have another slip ons here this is the true white slip ons actually but this we um customized it i actually made a video with my friend mj markers so he he drew the right pair he did that and i did the left pair and then i got the anaheim everybody anaheim sky skate highs cream colorway right here this is super rare now you can't see this in stores that's for sure it's uh, super, um, kind of like a vintage midsoles yeah and I don't really wear this too I wish I can so we got this is actually like one of my um, essentials or go-to sneakers as well um, the primary check old school vans right here are the best sneakers and we have the authentic vans right here golden coast this is one of the hype back in 2016 to 2017 around there more bands, but we got this uh, the normal black and white slip ons cream actually this is the most basic ones you must have this this is a must have even though until 2020 you already know and then we have the um velcro slip ons this is a rare one as well you can't see this this is anaheim with the ultra crush inside uh, if you don't know um fear of god as well back in 2017 to 2018 around there there's two more vans this is the last ones right here so we got the ochre yellow vans right here very wear this i might give this away as well i used I actually own the um the checkerboard slip ones as well but i gave that away to my friend john for his birthday back like last year was and then we got the first sneaker right here this is the first year i have when i used to work at vance just the first sneaker i got for free you start working there the one of my i think the only ultra boost i mean the only ultra boost and the only adidas which says the rap simmons because the rap simmons is like adidas collaboration with the designer brand runs rap simmons as we goes but this is the only adidas shoe i have now if you don't know back in 2015 or the until like 2018 it's like all adidas 
hype, right? So I pretty much get rid of most of them, even like most of the Yeezys, because I used to own a lot of Yeezys, so I sold them. And like I'm kind of like a Nike boy now. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say like I'm like all the way Nike boy, because we all know a lot of people own Adidas. That's for sure because of the hype, Yeezys and everything. So I'm not gonna like all self proclaim I'm not gonna be self proclaiming Oh, I'm a, I'm a Nike boy ever since. Not like that. This is my own opinion, everybody. You don't need to um, agree with me, but I do think the Adidas Ultra Boost from V1 to V2 are the best and the, mo and the most comfortable sneakers of all time. That's for sure, hands down for me. That's why I still own this. This is, that's pretty much it. And now we're gonna move to the best part. Best part, everybody. Best part. No more ideas for you, because I know a lot of people by this time looking for you know, Jordan 1s and like Nikes, pretty much like that, because that's the hype in this year or since last year. Um, so, as you guys know, I already showed you the Air Force 1s, and now I'm going to be showing my um, Jordan 1s. But yeah, just so you know, I don't have that much as, as before, because I sold my bread toast, which I completely forgot about, my pine greens, even my game royals. A lot of sneakers that you, I, I get to own a lot of, like the Spider-Man ones, um, Octo as well as the blue, the blue and red. It has also a patent letter. I sold those. I feel I regret, but it's, it is what it is. I also have own a pine greens. I've been watching my um, YouTube videos lately. Sold them too. So this is what I have. This is what I have left. So I have my UNCs right here. Shout out to my plug. He uh, hooked me up with these. I got it first. On the retail UNC ones, size nine. This is my favorite sneaker or favorite Jordan ones. As is my favorite color right there as well. Um, also, I just recently got a backup pair, brand new dead slug for like a really decent price, super at their resale value. So I'm gonna keep this for the future. I don't know. So get two pairs of Jordan ones or oh, Jordan ones to UNC obsidians right here. Super sick. So I'm just happy that I got <laughs> two pairs. That's crazy. And then I got my gym reds that I really love about. That's why you get to keep it. It's because it has the vintage or like yellowing midsole color. It makes it give us like a really um, old vibe. So I got this. And with the um, aftermarket, <laughs> aftermarket, what the heck? I was like um, from a uh, vintage color uh, laces as well. It's like cream laces. Super sick. Just uh, kind of like wanted to make it look like uh, the this the um, union so we got this one right here the Jordan ones. Um, also most of them are size 9 so if any of you are interested let me know size 9 men's and then we got the shadows right here one of the oldest sneaker that is that survived from all of the reselling so I think that was the reason was I sold most of them because I needed the money that's a good thing about having these kind of sneakers because you can always get your money back and the money and I was going back to school so I don't like I was kind of like quitting and then low-key not being able to you know so or being impulsive so this is the only ones I kept from that year just because at the time I had bread tools I've basically been buying every releases game wheels um, the version one pine green so this is the only ones I kept because most of them I got for retail which I'm happy about and you got the creases here and there so still pretty sick though as you can see a lot of people will still buy these because it's rare now the shadows super nice and leather is just crazy in these and then I got uh, um, Royal Toast brand new as well that stuck I used to own the size 9 but I sold it to my, to my friend um, this I got it for like $30 above retail. Shout out to my boy Mio, he sold it. This is basically a display pair for me because it's size nine and a half actually. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sell this. I'm not sure, maybe someday, not soon, because this is my backup pair. It's super beauty beautiful. Yeah. Um, we got the Crimson Tits. Super sick. Probably one of my favorite summer shoes. I barely wear it though, I, get it. I have to wear this soon again. It's just, you know, it's high top and everything. It's a pain to wear. So we say, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for the ones. And then we got the only force I have. Because this is the only Jordan force or colorway that I actually like besides the uh, um I think I only like either two or three more, like the cements. But yeah, pretty much just this. I can't like I had to own this when they re-released it. I'm so happy I actually won. Because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to buy it because a lot of people say it's general release. But lucky um was actually like limited. And I was just happy. I'm lucky enough that I won the raffle from these. It's a Jordan 4 brands, you got it for retail, no need to pay a resale. So yeah, it's pretty sick. And then, any sevens, the gold ones. Hi, this is actually one of the Nikes that started craziness that the people moving to Nike from Adidas. This is one of the um, starters right here. I also have another Jordan 11. I'm actually super glad. Because ever since, like since I started liking Jordan once, if you don't know, I came here in Canada five years ago and started liking Jordan. And the only ones that I actually like is this Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, and Jordan 11s. Honestly, I wasn't even feeling the Jordan 1s at the time. It was mostly the 4s and the 11s. And I can't, let me imagine right now, I have all these shoes and bands. It's like legit my dream shoe before when I was in Philippines because it's super expensive. And I have tons of them and I even get to work with bands, which is crazy. So we have the um, Jordan 11 Byron's Lows right here. This is the only 11 I have. I think I was gonna buy the um, the highs, but legit though, I only like the lows ever since. So uh, get to own this. I was gonna get the breads, but you know, this is the only ones I get to buy. But this is actually kind of like rare now because I completely forgot what LeBron is this. Oh my days, let me actually check. This is the LeBron 15s. This is. Shout out to my blog, because in this one, I get, I mean, they're not like a limited edition one, but they are super expensive, so I got a good discount from these. Super nice prime, it's not prime knit, I, I don't know what kind of knit is this one, but yeah, it's either fly knit though, but super, super nice and comfortable. This is size 10, because in basketball shoes, I have to own, I have to have like a big, big shoe for me to like, you know, be able to run properly, because they're like kind of tight for me, so. Super sick. This is one of the, this is the first basketball shoe I bought by myself, like when I started working. The KD8s, cause I used to like KD, I mean, I still like KD until now, but before I actually, I actually liked him, when he was in OKC with Russell Westbrook, even with Harden, so get to buy his KD8, super, super nice. And this is, this is sentimental value just cause I haven't like, I don't know, I always gotta be grateful. Only reason was this is the very sneaker, the very first Vans I bought. Once again, like before when I was in Philippines, like I always dream about just buying, you know, be able to um, buy a Vans. But like, once, like I remember like when I was like turning 17, I told my mom like I don't need to like celebrate my birthday, just just give me money to be able to buy like an actual legit pairs because the Philippines most of them not gonna lie, they're all like fakes and replicas. It just for Vans. Can you believe that? Replica Vans. But anyways, yeah, like, I get to keep this. This is like super nasty, but you know, has sentimental values and brings me back to like old days that like making me realize that, oh, guess what? I gotta keep working hard. So we got the um, old school, uh, the authentic Vans, the very first pair. Like, look at this, how ripped that is. I get, I kept it because it once again has like, you know, sentiment, sentimental value. This belongs to the trash now. Uh, it's wearable if you want to, but you know, this deserves to be. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe. I know it's been like probably like around 18 minute video, which is crazy. I am truly sorry about that. It's a long, long video. Alright, guys, this is how it looks like now. That's my setup. We got the um, Jordan. Jordan poster right here this is actually iconic um you know kind of like a rare poster i mean you can always like print that but you know you got the stickers here i actually have a lot there in my room but you know i just put this one here because my room is mostly my setup now we got the boxes this is look how mess messy that is now because i was just grabbing them you know because I, I i don't get to follow it so this is the but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you're new to this channel please the like button and subscribe it will it will be much appreciated everybody um i apologize for that setup if you can barely see but yeah um that's pretty much it i'm gonna try to like show you guys how it looks like now thank you my name is gino signing out peace